Hey everyone, how's it going? Sean the Sheep here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Nostalgia Nerds Tea. Because I've had this tea bag for quite a while and I've been hesitant to, uh, to try it in case it's an absolute letdown. Um, I've been quite excited by it, if I'm honest with you. Um, when I saw his tweet about this, I, I was really impressed to, to see that he had made some tea bags, some custom tea bags. And then when I got it into my hands, it's actually a tea bag with a sticker on top of it. Let's see what's underneath the sticker. Can I peel it off without destroying everything? No, I don't think I can. But I don't think there's actually another logo underneath it. I think it's just an unbranded tea bag. That would have been bad had we peeled off that and there would have been a, another logo under there. It doesn't look like there is any other logo underneath the tea bag. So, it's still pretty cool. Um, you know, Nostalgia Ned Tea. Pretty certain this is a thing for his Patreons. I'm not, um, I don't believe he's selling these. So, I think it's it's actually a pretty damn cool thing to do. Obviously, he's got, uh, he's got mugs, the Nostalgia Nerd mug. So to have a little tea bag with it is fairly cool. But let's uh, let's rip it open and see what the tea bag is like inside. Alrighty, so here is the tea bag. Um, as I said, there's no logo underneath the back. That would have been catastrophic, but it's absolutely fine. It's just a unbranded tea bag with a nostalgia nerd sticker. We shall now proceed to opening the tea bag. There goes all of its collectible resale value. Diesel has just stood in the way of the sun, so I can't actually, oh my god, please tell me it's got this logo on here. Damn it, oh, that would have been so sick. Diesel, go away, you're blocking the, you're blocking the light, mate. I can see those little paws. Okay, yeah, here's the tea bag. Um, it looks fairly standard, like an English breakfast tea. The string is fairly, fairly strong, um, which is always good because I hate it when the string comes off one of these because I get all excited that, oh yeah, I don't need to, you know, bring my spoon with me. I can just do a little bit of this and then pull it out and I, yeah, I don't really know what the string's for. I'm, I'm making this all up. I, I don't like these strings at all. Um, I just enjoy the regular tea bag with a spoon, give it a stir, give it a squeeze, pull it out. Why do we need a string? Understandable for chamomile and, and other sort of fruit teas and all that sort of stuff, but English breakfast tea, why'd you need it? Um, there's nothing on this piece of paper here. It's absolutely blank, um, but it's a nice firm piece of paper. Sometimes this can pull off and then and then that's also marginally upsetting. I'm gonna give it a sniff now and, uh, and see what the sniff is like. See what the sniff is like, see what the smell is like. I'm good at this. Smells fine. So now it's time to make the tea.
Okay, so the kettle is ready. So one of the problems we discussed in the Nostalgia Nerd mug review, although this is an absolutely gorgeous mug and it's very well designed and the printing is very high quality, the issue is that the inside of the mug is black, which means that you can't really see a, how ready the tea is in terms of before you put the milk in, and then also how much milk is in there. It's a little bit of a guessing game, but we're going to give it a go. I am very bad at making tea, even with all of the optimal apparatus. I, I'm very bad at making tea, so uh, I'm sure this is going to offend a lot of people. Um, I'm going to get a spoon now. So everything is looking fairly good so far, but then again, it's just a tea bag in a mug. Um, so, I mean, God, this is a lot of pressure. I feel like I'm being immensely judged right now. So I'm going to do everything intentionally wrong looking so that you don't actually know what the correct thing is. Ah! <laughs> I was trying to make a joke there by, <laughs> by doing intentionally the wrong thing so that you don't know when I'm actually doing what I think is right. And then, yeah, I forgot completely that the water is <laughs> fucking hot. So I have a little bit of sugar, just chuck that in there, give it a nice stir. Now I suppose what we could do is leave the tea bag in to really get that infusion. And I'll do what all the fancy coffee shops do, which is tie this round here, which is really awful because the string soaks up the water and then the, the handle gets wet and I like that. Now for some fresh Jersey 2.5% milk. 2.5% uh, 2, 2 fat milk, put that in there. Now I'd say that's about how much milk I usually have. So let's give that a stir and see how that looks. It's looking a little bit, oh, oh, oh. Has the tea bag split? <gasps> oh, Peter. That, to be fair, that might that that was probably user error. I was probably uh, doing that a bit too hard there. But yeah, important to note, tea bag has split, but it's not a reflection on the quality of the tea bag. I'm just shit at making tea. Okay, well I always enjoy a little bit of tea leaf at the bottom of my tea, so uh, I'd say that's that's probably about right. There's there's no making that darker anyway because we don't have the tea bag anymore. So I'll give that a nice stir. I'll set that aside to brew for a moment and then we'll give it a try. It smells pretty good. Um, it's still probably too hot to drink, but I'm gonna go for it. That is fucking good. I like that.